the best way to frame it is how these companies are spending their capex and we know roughly you know 1 gigawatt of ai data center capacity costs about 50 billion dollars again it depends on the region the source of energy and land etc but that's a rough ballpark so when you think about 6.6 .6 gigawatt and we already know open ai has committed to you know about 26 gigawatt so Clearly, these companies have big ambitions, and what it suggests is a company like Meta, which will very well spend over $100 billion in CapEx uh, this year in 2026, may stay on that path for at least the next three to four years because uh, they believe uh, you know, they have a lot of applications when it comes to their own consumption of uh, AI data centers. And they seem to be confident about their own model, which has so far trailed the likes of OpenAI, Anthropic, and Gemini in terms of capabilities. But it sounds like they want to make sure they have the capacity to deploy AI. And that's where uh, nuclear is an interesting choice because a lot of the other hyperscalers have gone for more natural gas turbines, but we know there is a big backlog with uh, someone like G. Vernova for their natural gas turbines. So, from that perspective, nuclear is an interesting choice, uh, you know, as an alternate. What are the big tech companies, these uh, big AI companies, saying about their confidence in the reliability of power in the next five, 10, 20 years? Because a lot of folks are saying that really could be the gating issue for the development and evolution of AI. Yeah, I mean, look, I was at CES where Jensen highlighted, you know, the reason why companies would upgrade quickly to the latest Rubin architecture is because they give, uh, I mean, Rubin will give them more tokens uh, per unit of power, which is really a way to emphasize the efficiency of how you utilize your available power. And so from that perspective, everyone sees very long lead times when it comes to adding new power and they want to maximize you know the usage and utilization of whatever they have right now and uh look i i, I you could argue you know there are some other sources which may have shorter lead times like solar or battery packs but in this case given the size of power that these companies need for running we are talking about one gigawatt data center it's very hard to think about too many sources of energy that will give you that sort of power. Mm -hmm. And you know that's where the lead times are so long. 